Hey guys, in this week's video I'm going to be teaching you a really cool tempo hack with your DJ decks, which I guarantee most of you probably don't know about. Let's do it! Okay guys, so just before I get into it, I just wanted to say, if you guys are new to DJing and you don't know much about these DJ decks and you'd like to know more about it, go and check out beginnerdjlessons.com and also if you guys want to become superstar DJs and you want to produce your own music, go and check out beginnerabletonlessons.com. Right guys, this is the hack. Have you ever had it where you're DJing and the tempo slider just won't go high enough or won't go low enough? You're trying to blend into another track and it's just, you're restricted by the amount it'll go to. And it's quite frustrating when you're like, oh, if you just gave me a couple more BPM, I could actually do a nice beat match between these two songs. Well, you can, and you probably don't know about this. If you go to Serato and look on the screen, you'll see there's a little thing here called plus eight. That means like you can go up 8%, okay? So if you scroll up and down, you'll see that on the left hand side there, it goes up to 8% or down by 8%. You can actually increase this amount. So if you hit shift on your DJ decks and hit the tempo button, you'll notice it goes to 16. Now it'll go up by 16% or down 16%. And what's even cooler, you can go to 50 which means you can massively make a change in your songs. Now, this is a cool little hack for you guys. Two things for you to bear in mind. Your tempo slider is gonna be really, really sensitive. That's the one thing you've gotta bear in mind. The other thing you've gotta bear in mind is you've gotta remember about this key lock feature. So you all know about this key lock feature. It locks the song in key. So basically, it doesn't warp the sound. If you slow the track down, it doesn't go all slow. It stays in key, even if it does slow down. Same thing if you speed it up, it doesn't go It'll stay in key, so it means you can go up or down, and you can still match in key, mix in key, okay? Cool, so there's the little hat for you. But there's something really cool I wanted to show you guys. You can really mess with songs and you can do some pretty cool stuff with it. Like if you guys are interested in doing strange kind of remixes with songs, suddenly this opens up a whole new world of remix potentials, okay? So as you know, most trap songs are about 70 BPM or 140, depending on how you look at it. The general beats sound a bit like this. Okay. Now, most EDM music is about 128 BPM and it's a lot quicker. But with this feature being able to slow it down by 50%, you can actually put trap beats over EDM beats. And it's really, really fun this. Here's one last tip for you before you try this. Take the key lock off. So now the song really will change. And now you can start having some serious fun with tracks you never thought you could play with. So let's have a listen. Pretty cool stuff, right? And there's another thing you guys can do as well. If you have a folder on your Serato or whatever DJ program you use, which has got a couple of uh, beats, whether they're break beats or hip hop beats, and they're the same speed, you could actually filter through a couple of different beats while the song is playing. So, as most of you will probably know, you can use this dial at the top of your DJ decks to scroll through different songs. You can see on my Serato there, it's scrolling through different songs. Then when you hit load, it will load the song into that deck, right? But what some of you may not know is you can actually do that live. So while a song is playing, you can hit load and it'll load a new track in and continue playing. So say I've got a hip hop track that sounds like this. While it's playing, I can load the next beat that's the same speed as it. And on the right bar, press load and it'll keep playing a different beat. So let's have a listen.
you can swap out different beats. So it means you can have another song playing and actually swap through a couple of different beats and kind of do a really cool remixes on the spot. So let me just show you another example. Let's just get the beat right to start. So we're going to put that to 75.0. Here we go. Baby, this is what you came for. Lightning strikes every time she moves. And everybody's watching her, but she's looking. Pretty cool stuff isn't it so there we go guys i'm gonna leave it there for you go away have a practice with these different techniques i think it's going to revolutionize the way you look at mixing different songs on your dj decks if you like this video and you feel like this these tips have helped make sure you like the video make sure you subscribe if you want more weekly tips on how to get better at djing and remember guys if you want to learn more and you want to learn everything you need to know about djing beginnerdjlessons.com or begin at AbletonLessons.com. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. <laughs>